Joining me on Fan TV, I've got Glenn Billing and Rob Ferrara. Uh, Phantoms have won 12-1 uh, on the evening, won last night uh, down in Milton Keynes, so it's a comprehensive quarter-final victory. Lads, what pleases you the most after a, a performance like that tonight? Is it, is it the back or the front? Uh, I mean, everything is good. Obviously, it's good that we're getting goals. Obviously, you always want to get goals going forward, um, and it's nice to start. Um, defensively, yeah, generally we played we played quite well as well. And the goalie still had a couple of good shots that they had to make saves on, so they they made good saves as well. So it all comes together, and we're quite happy with with how the weekend went. I think in a game like that, you always expect uh, Jordan Marr to be pulled and uh, and Ryan Bamber to come in. I thought he made particularly one really smart save. He, he's he's done very well when he's come in, uh, done absolutely what's expected of him, and, and when called upon, could stand in for for Jordan Marr. Yeah, def yeah definitely. It's, it's good to have that um, ability to put either goalie in um, when, when needed. It's great that, again, we played well last night, we played well to start the game tonight and he, he did get that opportunity to play two periods and it's tough being a backup goalie because you obviously you don't get that much ice time so it's good that he's had two good periods in, in playoff hockey. Then the, the Phantoms, were uh, they, they held the upper hand all evening but I thought special teams were particularly good, lots of power play goals and the penalty kill was great. Yeah, I think special teams are clicking right now and uh, both lines are scoring goals. So um, it's a lot of fun to be out there um, and hopefully that continues all the way through the playoffs and we can take that momentum going forward. I've seen these games against Milton Keynes and, and other teams that you'd suspect that we might have beaten uh, start much more slowly than that. We started really, really quickly tonight, I thought. Yeah, it was important to um, get a good start and get in that playoff mentality early because um, if you get that ball rolling, then it's hard to stop. So um, I thought the start uh, tonight was great and hopefully we can keep it going and take it forward in coming weeks. Robbie, is that something that people talk about in the locker room before the game, the, the fact that maybe we, we sometimes start slowly against teams that we'd be expected to beat or the game's in the bag, we're four ahead, we don't need to put, you know, we, yeah. th th that, that emphasis on, on pushing rather than sitting back and just taking it comfortably? Yeah, there's always that talk. Um, I don't know if it's something we always cover and we say, oh yeah, we're up four goals, let's let's take it easy. We, we never have that attitude. We always want to come out and do well. Sometimes it does go for, go for you and sometimes it, it doesn't. Um, but obviously, particularly now it's playoffs, you're always looking to build. Every game you're looking to build for the next game. Um, um, and coming into the game tonight, we knew four goals up. We had the upper hand, obviously, but we were looking to just come out and play, start positively, because going into next weekend, it's going to be a much tougher game. So. I think, we think, that it's us against Basingstoke. So it's go hard or go home. It's next weekend, isn't it? It's it's win or, or the season's finished. Yeah, I mean, that's playoff hockey, and that's why we love it so much. So um, every game, every shift matters, and it's a lot of fun to play in. So um, nothing but a victory uh, is important, and... We'll take our momentum in going forward. The games against us and Basingstoke have been as tight, really, as, a, as any matchup <laughs> that we've had this season. Uh, what do you think the key to, to the, the, the kind of round is going to be next week? Um, it's probably defensively, and I think it's, it's who makes probably the least mistakes, as much as it's a, you want to look positively and you want to look at how you go forward. Um, we match up as two good teams. Obviously, the cup final was, was really tight over two legs. Um, so it's going to be the team that I think can can stick to their basics and make the least mistakes that are probably going to come away with the win over the over the two games. Uh, and just to finish, then uh, then Glenn, uh, we talked after the after the cup final victory in uh, well the autumn cup victory about that giving momentum. And I'm not sure that we had the momentum at the start of January. Maybe the the, the December break didn't do us any favours. But the cup win a couple of weeks ago against Basingstoke, it's a good marker uh, against them now. And, and I think it really has given us a lift towards the end of the season. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Um, all, all teams go through patches, and I think we got out of that. And the final was a great experience for our team to play in that intensity and that type of game. So, um, yeah, be uh, using that experience next weekend. And hopefully we can do the same. Good luck next week. Well done this weekend, but uh, next week's when it really starts. See you then.